When Hurricane Barrow knocked out power to millions of homes and businesses last month, you may have noticed your neighborhood HEB stayed open. Many of the stores have their own microgrid to supply them with power. Investigate reporter Cheryl Mercedes shows us how this growing technology works. The farm race shop. Can I have five pounds? Kawasha Bonner is more than happy to load up on groceries now that she's got power. What was it like during Hurricane Barrel? Oh, the power was off, um, but HEB was open. They still remain, had everything we basically needed. Barbecue items such as charcoal and lighter fluid, fresh meats they still had. At a time when non-perishables are typically the only option, HEB was able to let their customers think outside the box. Big stuff, meat, briskets type stuff, you know, cook, smoke, that keep a long time. HEB General Manager Tammy Hager. Customers rely on us to be here and to be open. And so uh, they, they know that we're here for them. How are you all able to do that? Just by keeping the lights on. The HEB she runs on Shepherd gets backup power from a microgrid. As soon as the lights go out, the generators kick on and it's business as usual. This is the Network Operations Center. Thomas McAndrew is the founder of Enchanted Rock. The Houston company uses a natural gas microgrid to deliver backup power during outages. We can tell down to a single gen set um, exactly what's going on. McAndrew says HEB approached his company in 2016 after storms in the Houston area affected its store's ability to move its diesel power generation from one store to the next. Enchanted Rock commissioned its first natural gas microgrid at the HEB in Bay City later that year. They just want the lights to stay on. And so we said, you know what, there's a, there's a way to do that. Here's how it works. The Enchanted Rock systems get natural gas from underground pipelines, which are not impacted by high winds and flooding. When the system senses a loss in power, it automatically turns on and isolates that site from the ERCOT grid. There's no connection back. We're just powering that specific facility. We're leveraging the underground natural gas system to provide power when the above ground lines can't do that. Operators monitor the microgrids from inside a large warehouse downtown. Right now, they keep watch of more than 300 across the country. We're providing a critical element by allowing them to stay in business and have power. And so we, we're very proud of that. Today, more than 100 HEB stores are equipped with the technology, allowing them to serve their customers more than just groceries. We even uh, set up like char portable charging devices for them and out in our lobby with chairs and everything so that they could come in and still power up their laptops or their cell phones. It's the kind of customer service these folks won't soon forget. It was wonderful. We know that they're dependable. We're always going to be able to come and get what we need at HEB. Houstonians love their HEB. Uh, so, absolutely. <laughs> Cheryl, people may be curious to know mm -hmm. if Enchanted Rock can equip homes with microgrids. Oh, yeah, you know I asked because I was very curious, too, listening to all this information. And you know what? They can. McAndrew tells me that Enchanted Rock recently commissioned microgrids in subdivisions in California. Now, while doing it here is not out of the question, it would take some changes in regulation. And, of course, that would take some time. All right, and HEB's microgrid micro grid is natural gas, but can it be another type of power like solar? Oh, absolutely. Solar, diesel, battery, you name it. It can be a, anything that you want to choose, but a microgrid, by the way, is a self-contained electrical network that generates power. It's an alternative that businesses could use when power goes out. But you know what? When you have, like you said, the natural gas, you don't have to worry about like diesel trucks transporting it, and that's what makes this so great. Keeping the lights on, it's critical to keeping Absolutely. the business going. Absolutely, yes, and <laughs> keeping right. us fed. Cheryl Mercedes, thanks so much. Sure.